I have two people here that are unbelievable contributors to the surfing culture. And uh, I don't even know how much I can say about them, but I'll just say that both of them are multiple champions and that they have also given in the organizational stage of both the professional and the amateur surfing. And they are two really, really outstanding people. I'm proud, I'm really proud to introduce tonight Ian Cairns and, and Alyssa Cairns. Come on up here. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you, Jim Kempton, for the good work that you're doing with the California Surf Museum. Uh, there's many, many generations of surfers out here, uh, and with the work that Jim and his crew are doing and the other museums, they're keeping the uh, history of surfing alive. And uh, there's a massive mosaic of amazing people that have made surfing happen, and there's plenty of them here today. Uh, I, I personally just want to say thank you very much to Tom Murray and also to Donald. Uh, one of the things that they gave to surfing was uh, flow and trim. And who's the inheritor of flow and trim? Joel. Now, a really incredible surfer, and congratulations, mate. It made me laugh so much when you won that. It was really awesome. But more than anything, tonight, women are being recognized. Uh, you know, I, I've spent my entire life surfing, and I love surfing with women. Women are amazing. My first trip to America, where did I stay? In, with the Debbie Beecher. And we surfed Wind and Sea back in 1972. Really, really fantastic. And then Lynn Boyer would talk about being an amazing surfer. Have you seen her plain air painting? She is an incredible artist. And so artistry and you know, beautiful surfers, but I'm, I'm here to actually support Alyssa because she's scared to talk, but how could you be scared to talk about her best friend, Kim Merrick? So, Kim Merrick is style and flow and trim, an incredible surfer, and I've known Kim and Alyssa since the uh, well, late 70s with Alyssa and the early 80s with Kim. It's been a long and beautiful road and the surfing that women are doing uh, needs to be recognized, it needs to be applauded, and uh, I'm so happy to be here uh, helping Alyssa. And talk about authenticity. We were surfing at Thalia Street today, and uh, I was out the back catching the bombs, and Alyssa was hanging inside with the Groms. She was hanging, surfing with the young high school Groms that are on her surf team. She's the coach of Laguna Beach High School surf team. So when you talk about authenticity, this is a woman that lives it every day. And I'm happy to hand it over to uh, my lovely wife, Alyssa, to talk about our friend Kim Merrick. Thank you very much. Of course, as Ian said, uh, I couldn't pass up the chance to, to congratulate Kim. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to congratulate Debbie Beecham and Lynn Boyer. Uh, oh, yeah. And there's a lot of other out there. Uh, Joel, I've known him since he was a, a young kid with really long hair. And, uh, of course, my first experience before surfing was on a Mori boogie board that um, I got a kit in the mail and put that together. But uh, now down to Kim. <laughs> we'll um, start with, I went to the World Contest in 1980 um, representing Lisa and I was also on the national team at the time. And uh, I met, I got good friends there with Tom Kern 
he was on the team as well, and um, we both did real well and ended up winning it for the U.S. team. And uh, when we came back, uh, well, when I was there, he was telling me about this young girl in Santa Barbara that really was a fantastic surfer, so I heard about Kim, um, but I had never met her or seen her. And then shortly after, I went to a WISA contest, and um, I see this girl getting out of the car, like just kind of dancing gracefully, really tall, like flowing blonde hair, and um, she, there was a lot of older people at the event and stuff, WISA, um, I was like, 14, 15 when I started doing those contests. And so I thought this girl was a lot older and I, I see her with, it, it turned out it was her dad who's here tonight, Jim. But um, anyways, they drove down from Santa Barbara, surfed in this contest, but I still didn't really meet her. I was shy. And um, so it took, I went up to Santa Barbara to Tom Kearns and stayed and then Kim heard that I was there and her family was really nice and invited me over for dinner. And that was pretty much it. Um, she got on the national team and we traveled the world together first as NSSA teammates and we went to Australia, South Africa, uh, back east and uh, had lots of crazy stories along the way. And uh, she turned pro, and I stayed amateur for a few more years, went to UCLA. Uh, she came up to visit me there. One time we went to a football game at the Rose Bowl. <laughs> we went on the bus, and of course, all the fraternity guys were just like, will you be my little sister? Like, what sorority are you in? <laughs> Kim was just this carefree girl, you know, like, she had this great life up in Santa Barbara, so as we traveled, on the tour and everything, you know, she would always be like, I gotta get home, like, she's got Rincon, she's got Hammond, she's got the ranch, the islands, I mean, what more could you ask? And then, you know, we just spent a lot of time together. She'd come down for the contest and stay, kind of named our house Hotel California. Um, I was thinking back, there's a lot of world champions and stuff that, that have come through there and stayed with us and, um, it goes back to like just the positive vibes. I found out years later um, the Calhouns had lived in the house that I grew up in in Laguna Beach and uh, so I always just felt like there was that women's surfing connection and, and that and Kim was an only child and so she, I have an older and younger sister and she got to, to see that kind of life with the the arguments sometimes with the sisters, and she was kind of part of the family too, but uh, we just, we just had really had a great time, and as we got older, you know, relationships, and Brian came along, and uh, we, we had some really fun times, some trips. Uh, they took us to the islands and the ranch all the time, and um, I was on the Channel Islands team with Kim and Al Merrick, and we had good workouts and barbecues, and um, the twins are here as well, and they were on the national team with us. Anyways, uh, I could go on and on, um, but she's just an amazing girl. Um, we stayed really good friends. We, we might not see each other very often. Um, like, right now, it's been three years since we got together, I think. Uh, right before COVID, we'd gone up there, and we got to stay with Kim and Brian. Um, you know, our kids have grown up together, like just knowing each other, and um, I love you, Kim. contribution to the sport, a huge honor. 
And I'd like to thank um, all the awesome women that paved the way. They inspired a whole generation of young women surfers like myself to have a dream and actually that dream become my reality. I'd like to give a big shout out to the men and women of the 70s generation. You guys are rock stars to me. <laughs> and it was an awesome time for me to turn pro and for our tours to overlap. And I got to meet a lot of my heroes and become friends with um, many of you. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents um, for all their love and support, especially during my amateur days. We had a, a lot of contests and a lot of travel. And <laughs> thanks to my dad. <laughs> I think he's one of my biggest biggest fans. I'll get all excited and I'll be talking about like um, the Olympics and Chris Moore and what she's doing, this, that, and the other. And my dad will stop me and just go, well, your time, your block of time was like so great, and this, that, and the other. So thank you, Dad. I've got children. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> thank you. I love, love you. Um, let's see. I'd like to thank my husband, Brian, for all his love and support and for his friendship for the past 40 years. Now that's crazy. <laughs> I, I think I should be getting a word for that, actually. COVID and all. <laughs> um, let's see. I'd like to thank everybody that helped to support my lifestyle. It was a, a pretty good gig. I have one kind of funny story, actually. Um, after I got married, um, my husband and I went to do our taxes jointly. And um, my accountant looks at me, and my, my husband's um, job kind of checked out, and then he looks at me and goes, pro surfer, huh? <laughs> and I go, yeah. And then he goes, well, he's going through my paperwork, and he's going, well, it looks like you travel a lot. And I said, yeah. And he just can't get it through his head that he kept asking me questions through the whole thing, like, you know, what tour life was like, and this, that, and the other. And... Um, just couldn't get it through his head and saw all the places I went look like a maybe like vacations and stuff. <laughs> and then he goes, he looks at me and goes, They pay you to do this? <laughs> and I go, I go, yeah. I go, best job in the world, right, people? I mean, I did. I, when we're in competition and all the years the grinding away and all the competition that was um, all the surfboard design and all the great surfers that I had to compete against especially during the 80s and stuff was you don't realize how lucky you are when you're in the moment of it all and it's really fun to see everybody and be grown up and, and look back and just go what a life man <laughs> it's been great Thank you, guys. Um, um, see. I'd also I'd like to give a um, big shout out to my two beautiful children um, and to my daughter and her husband for having their first child. Precious little grand girl, granddaughter, she's so awesome. That best thing happened to me. It's really amazing. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. This is the hard part, Debbie. Um, I'd like to dedicate this in honor of my late mother, Lois. Um, she was the, the greatest mom I could ever ask for. I uh, couldn't ask for a better one. She was the best grandma to our two kids, and I don't think I could have raised them without her. Um, growing up, she always told me that I could do anything I put my mind to, and was always very encouraging in everything I did. Um, later in life, she told me that she was really proud of me but not for my surfing. <laughs> they were, my parents were scholars, and my dad was, there, you know, an athlete who went through college doing all that stuff. But, but anyway, she said I, the surfing was great and all, and then she said um, the biggest compliment, oh, the most thing I'm proud of you, Kim, is for just being a great person. I'm proud of the person that you became. And I, could, I love you, Mom. I love my mom so much. Uh, we're so close that I miss her every day. Um, but thank you, everybody. Thanks for everybody that put this together and everything. It's a beautiful night. Awesome.
Kim Merrick. I can't believe I was standing that close to one of my childhood crushes. Wow. Well, 